spirits grow restless. I am reborn again and again. I am the will of the Emperor. I am Death's hand. This world is out of balance. The spirits grow restless. That's working. I can see it down in the corner. Let's try this. I am reborn again and again. I am the will of the Emperor. I am Death's hand. Hello. Oh, there we go. This world is out of balance. The spirits grow restless. I am the will of the Emperor. I am Death's hand.
You do get to do a little customization, but not, not a whole lot. Alright, choose a style. Let's see, what do we got? We have Heavenly Wave. Lotus Blossom. Alright. Let's start. I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard.
happily. I feel that I learn something every time I face you, even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. So the one thing about early Bioware games, including uh, Dragon Age, which came out a little after Jade Empire, is they don't voice their main protagonist. They did in Star Wars, next to Republic 12, and it to this day breaks my heart. Um, if you're watching and you want me to voice the characters, uh, I can. I can't guarantee it'll be good, but I can. Let us begin. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. Chapter One Wherein a master of foretells of doom, a rival challenges for station, and the past haunts the present. Your training nears its completion in the idyllic setting of two rivers. Master Lee promises that soon you will learn more about how you came here and where your future will lead. All the while, strange tales begin to spread of ghosts that will not rest, and shadowy assassins who heed no law. Master Lee keeps talking about Restless Dead, but there's nothing like that around here. Gao refuses to practice with the rest of us. He thinks he's too good for us. Our most senior student has a spare moment to spend with me. An honor. No, wait. I shouldn't be like that. Master Lee always reminds me that jealousy is a low path and not worthy of one of his students. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. 
It certainly won't be me. I can't even imagine Master Li saying, you must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely. That's easy enough for you to say. You're already the best in the school. The rest of us just stare at your back. Maybe I should spend more time training, and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? Besides, there might be bigger things to worry about. I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. Other than what Dawnstar senses, all I have is stories, but they're becoming more and more common. Tales of people being haunted by loved ones, and mad ghosts attacking people on the roads, or even in their homes. And Master Lee accepts Dawnstar's ability to see and sense things others can't. If he believes her, then how could I believe otherwise? You're exactly what you'd expect. The souls of humans who have died. According to all the legends, when you die, your soul travels to the underworld. Once there, your soul is judged and placed upon the wheel of life, so that it can return to this world in a new life. A soul that doesn't return to the wheel of life becomes a ghost. According to the stories, ghosts are usually people whose souls are trapped in this world, either by circumstance, or because they won't let go of their old lives. The thing is, those circumstances are very rare, and you never heard about ghosts ten years ago. Now everyone's talking about them. It's like something has happened, and people aren't leaving this world like they should be. Either that or it's mass hysteria, but I can't believe that explanation. If you wish, what do you want to ask about? You think I will talk about them behind their backs? I will, but I don't want people to think of me as the local gossip, even if I am just that. Lead into the role, Lynn. Of note? There's only one student of note, and that would be you. Everyone else, even Dawnstar, is just a background for you and your supposed destiny. I'm sure you know that your implied status causes jealous remarks. I have muttered a few, but I don't mean you harm. The one you should be careful of is Gao, but I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. You know him as well as I do. A rich man's son. He's attractive, I suppose, but arrogance follows him like a cloud of locusts. I hear his father is the same way. Gao the Greater and Gao the Lesser. Not a family I would want to be a part of. Why do you need to ask me about Dawnstar? You know her better than anyone as far as I'm concerned. You two practically grew up together. Maybe that's why you two get along so well. Maybe her sense for ghosts and the like meshes well with the great destiny Master Lee sees for you. Master Lee never stops talking about you. You are special, or so we are repeatedly told. It can get annoying. Then again, some find it outright threatening. If you wish, what do you want to ask about? 
I'm sure you've figured out most of my little quirks by now. I've been here a few years. I wasn't the delicate flower my family had hoped for. They believed school would calm my spirit. But Master Lee has shown me how to focus myself. I have learned many skills while here, and not many of them require that I be delicate. When I am done, I haven't really thought about it. I won't go home. There's no place for me there. If I can stomach the books, I could become a scholar. Perhaps I'll go to the Imperial City. I should see it at least once in my life. Yes, you should. Stay well. Something on your mind? Of course. I have to keep practicing if I'm going to be able to best you one day, aren't I? Excellent. Let's see if we can use Smiling Mountain Sparring Ground. Once we're done, I'll wander back here if you need me again. Save because it's a laptop and you never know when it's gonna boot me out. Even if it's made for gaming. Always good to see you wandering the school. You're the best among us after all. So it makes everyone train a little harder when you're around. The tricky part is making sure we're emulating you, not hoping to take you down a peg. You should think carefully before bruising the tender egos around here. Oh, did I tell you to see Master Lee when you have a chance? I'm not taking the blame if you forget. Auspicious.
importance. Understanding the stars in the universe is a very important goal. Examining the universe, we can interpret and predict things to come. Mythology behind uh, Jada Pirate is one of my favorites. And as we progress further in through the story, you'll see some of my favorite uh, background characters. Like here. Master Lee says that these are troubled times, but he has sheltered us from any disturbances. It is an honor to be approached by the school's most senior student. My mother had high hopes for the school when she sent me here from the capital. Sometimes I wonder if I'm ready to train with others of such skill. Even in the robes of a junior student, I feel a long way from my home in the Imperial City. You're right. Master Lee would not have accepted me if he did not see potential. He measures all people carefully. I will just have to work twice as hard to catch up to your level of skill. Even then, it will take a long time to be your match. How long have you studied with Master Lee? She also came here very young, didn't she? The two of you are generally considered the most advanced students here. I'm sorry. I shouldn't pester you with my questions. Is there something you need? that you should ask. What do you want to know? The school I attended in the Imperial City was becoming mired in politics, so my mother sent me out to the country instead. Politics is dangerous, she always said. Oh, I don't know. It just seems like the city is changing. Strange people, strange machines. These are interesting times. I think she just wanted to know that I'd be safe. Well, that won't be for a long time, but I'll probably return to the Imperial City. Perhaps I'll join the Imperial Guard. It's hard to think that far ahead. I'll answer what I can. It's funny, but I still want to look over my shoulder. I have to remember that we are a long way from the ears of the Lotus Assassins. They're the Emperor's personal guardians. In the Imperial City, they watch everyone and everything, looking for those who would question the course of the Empire. Sounds like a great group of people. The Lotus Assassins visit people who ask a lot of questions. The Emperor hasn't been seen much recently. His advisors run things. They're not gentle. There's already enough darkness without making up stories about shadows, in my opinion. And try Lin. She seems very interested in the ghosts. I'm no map maker, but I know the basics of the way the Empire is laid out. What do you want to know? It was a beautiful place to grow up. The brightest minds, the most noble houses, all the greatest warriors gather there. It's truly the most vibrant place in the world. I'm glad to be here, don't get me wrong. Two Rivers, though, is very... peaceful. I'm used to a more hectic pace, I think. It's taking me some time to adjust. Two Rivers is quiet, subdued. This province has a lot of rich agricultural land. Actually, fields cover pretty much everything south of the Great Southern Forest. Goodbye. What can I do to help you? It would be an honor. Are you sure you had time? 
Excellent. Let's find a quieter spot to spar. Once we're finished, I'll have to return here and continue my meditations. Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. It is good to see you. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can. But my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Master Lee is very strict about what is taught here, because martial skill is a pathway to great power, and that holds certain risks. It is not just good over evil. Few things in life are that simple. The common way to say it is, do you follow the way of the open palm, or the closed fist? Let's learn a little bit about that, shall we? A term for the high path, or perhaps the way of restraint and harmony. Many aspire to it, but few achieve it. It is a path of resisting tyranny. Of course, the source of that tyranny varies. It is just as dangerous coming from without as within. Tyranny from external sources is easy to find and fight. Defending those who cannot defend themselves is a reasonable example. But when your abilities are so much greater than those around you, there is the temptation to set everything right by might alone. That is tyranny from within. True, but that can become a convenient excuse. Eventually you may decide that even direct violence is too inefficient for someone of your strength. It is a small leap from there to enforcing your will so that the crime never takes place. Suddenly you are the oppressor, when all you wanted to do was make things right. This way of the open palm is not without its hidden dangers, despite the best of intentions. It is the low path, the way of aggression and discord, a misunderstood path often misused by those who wish to justify a thuggish nature. It is not as simple as crushing your enemies or as mindless as terrorizing the weak. It is a mindset born of impatience, of imposing your will. An evil man might ignore a plea for help because he does not care, but that shows a disconnection with the world. That is not part of the way. A man on the low path might also ignore that plea but he would do so because that person should demonstrate they are fit to survive on their own. The difference is in the details. That same man might help if the odds are unreasonable. He might also do it to incur favor. There is thought in his actions. He is not a mindless killer, but he may let strength decide what course is best. That is why it is a dangerous path. It can so easily be misinterpreted. You are the sum of your actions. The harmony or discord that you sow will weigh on your shoulders as surely as any physical yoke. But there can be advantages. Certain forms of attack inherently lean toward one extreme or the other. They have a rhythm that resonates within you. You may find that some attacks perform better if you are more intent on causing discord. 
How you use this is for you to discover and decide. I am charged with giving whatever instructions. training. For some time now, I have offered, for a small fee, to run students through a short regimen that will help them enhance their abilities. The lessons you learn from me, or from any trainer for that matter, will stay with you and help make you stronger or better able to focus your mind or magic. No, I try to improve base abilities, but through the basics that Master Lee has instilled, when you have the opportunity, I'm sure you will pick up new styles quickly. Let's see what you can learn. Oh, I have no... What can I do for you? few, but not enough for me to... There will be more students available later in the day when many of their exercises have concluded. I am Char... Who are you interested in? If you wish, but only introspection reveals true insight. I used to call the trading center of Phoenix Gate my home, but I am settled here. I have nothing to go back to. I am charged. Goodbye. Sayer Uyukap, Wool Tarawail Shatir Owo. Are you here to see Dawnstar? She's not around right now. The great wheel of life turns eternal, bringing one through life into death, then back again into life. Greetings, fellow student. The gate is closed for now, and I am tasked with keeping it so. Master Lee has asked that no students leave the school until the morning meditations are concluded. Please do not. This is the first task I have been given, and I don't want to get distracted. What do you mean? Some sort of test? Ask me anything. I am ready to try. Wait, I know this. Yes, it's weapon, martial, support, transformation, and magic. Weapon and martial styles are pretty self-explanatory. Support styles allow you to paralyze, slow, or otherwise hamper your foes. Magic styles allow you to use your chi to control the elements, while transformation styles allow you to assume the form of creatures or even demons. I'm only repeating what I have learned in my time here, senior student, but that was one of the first things I memorized. Chi is our internal magical energy. Is that it? Yes. And we can use our chi to hasten the healing process of superficial wounds. Additionally, 
Chi can be used to strengthen our blows, making the most of each strike. I'm sure that's right. I can't channel my Chi like you and Dawnstar yet, but one day... Oh, good. I mean, yes, thank you, senior student, for the chance to answer your questions. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house. come back here this time of day, so we thought we'd take a moment to practice. Would you like to join us? We could team up against you and learn from the best. This is good news! We'll try to go easy on you. we'd win, but it was an honor to face you. Thank you very much. We have to go. Smiling Mountain's going to be teaching a class soon, and then we have weapons training. Typical. Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. Really? You would have dropped everything to make way for me. I don't think so. You're far too important to waste time worrying about my education. Master Lee certainly considers your training important enough to shove all others aside, so why shouldn't I bow down to your greatness? Such a dick. You don't want my answer to that question. Go talk to one of your sandal-licking friends and let them tell you I'm jealous. I'm sure Wen could stammer out an answer for you, something to make you feel all warm inside and just great about yourself. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. What is it?
a long drought. It stands as one of the worst periods in the Jade Empire's recent history. Ah, there you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jing Yu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that, as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Very clever and totally valid. Okay. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the weapon master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Dawnstar will be near her garden at the entrance to the school. Gu Jin will be in his shop near the village gate, up the stairs from the village square. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart.
What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, huh? I'll buy the ground from under you. Huh. Charm. Yeah, okay. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, Stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Glory. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the Father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Lee's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. That is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you if he wanted to learn anything from anyone. What does Gao the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. I'd rather not dwell on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help key him in. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? I don't like your bad feelings. They always end up being right. Remember the grass fire? Half of the field's gone in a day, and you knew it would happen. You said you felt the lightning coming, but not even Master Lee knows the weather like that. I trust your instincts. You are full of such promise. I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some insight, but it doesn't seem to be useful for anything other than keeping me awake at night. I helped Master Lee discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Lee say? That you should keep the basics close to heart? Ouch. Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster.
I adore her. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it. I can't believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. Why would bandits come here to Two Rivers? Heavens, no! I heard a terrible scream. Are the bandits here yet? is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. Bandits, huh? I, I see a lot of them. I'd better let someone else have some fun for a change. Hmm. I can't abandon the gate. You never know if they're gonna sneak around. Uh, no, please. I, I can't fight. I just didn't want to be a rock picker in my grandfather's field. Guarding okay. the gate looked easy. I never thought bandits would actually come. Please don't let them get me. Don't let them. You and the chickens will be fine. Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. If you'd prefer, I don't need to use the fan. Now, what brings you here? Already? I assume you dealt with them, and the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Donstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday, and I must say you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as your own. This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after, and I've been holding on to a weapon for you ever since. Well, two, actually. But you need to choose which one you'll take. Master Lee wants you to stay focused on your first weapon. I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword, Fortune's favorite, or the famed staff, Golden Star. 
They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say. But this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. They say Golden Star was forged as a gift to a water spirit of the Silkworm River. A young noble convinced the great eastern serpent to fly him to the stars, where he dipped this staff in the tail of a comet. It could be pure fantasy, but this staff certainly isn't. It's strong and has an excellent reach. Your foes will tremble if they see you wielding it. I'm afraid not. She would not be able to handle one of these weapons quite yet. I'll explain why in a moment, but suffice it to say that very few people have your aptitude for maintaining focus in battle. In time, Dawnstar will be able to handle a weapon like this, but don't discount the blade I gave her. Master Lee wanted her to have the keenest steel I could find. Your weapon is well deserved, and you'll need it with these bandits so close. If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you can come see me after the bandits are dealt with. One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely, you must focus with each strike. Master Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon, and the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. That you should. Those people will be looking to you for leadership until Master Lee gets back. I know you'll do well. Senior student! Oh, excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to interrupt. Calm down, student. What has you so flustered? The bandits! They've already been sighted down by the beach, and they're making their way toward the town. Uh-oh. Master Li hasn't returned yet with Kia Min. I'm sure he will be back before long, but we must depend on you until he returns. I will run to the school and seal the gates. Make your way to the beach and teach these bandits a lesson. I know you can. You've done well, lad. Go back to the school now. Your friends have some new weapons they're dying to try out, I'm sure. Fortune's favorite. Also my favorite. Legendary strike! <laughs> Long sword! <laughs> Someone from the school would help. No one else could. Please, my boy Nijo is trying to fight them down on the beach, but we need someone skilled. I can hear fighting to the east. We have to push these bandits back off the beach. <laughs>
save often. Yet another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die. Poor guy get exploded again. Yet another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die. Of course. Legendary strike! Hold on. Um, what am I looking for? Something. I'm looking for something. Techniques. No. Control. Shift. That's about the number. Legendary strike! Excuse me. Fourth time to charm, right? Yet another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die. At least we don't get exploded like that. Legendary strike! <laughs>
hold that thought. Please hold. Did something just dawned on me. Spirit film. Focus film. There we go. Save on the beach. Take five. <laughs> Save. Legendary strike. Long sword. <laughs> Skills are more than this tiny village warrants, but I also see something strange, an oddity. You could be an anomaly or a sign of who I seek. A further test is needed. These mercenaries are not the only threat I command. Let us see you contend with this.
legendary strike. Legendary strike. One more try. And if I don't do it, I'm going to bed. Legendary long sword. Get a desk set up, but that is not happening. 
Legendary strike. Legendary strike. <laughs> Heavenly wave. <laughs> Legendary strike. <laughs> Legendary strike. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Your skills are more than this tiny village warrants. But I also see something so strange, an oddity. You could be an anomaly or a sign of who I seek. A further test is needed. These mercenaries are not the only threat I command. Let us see you contend with this. Impressive. Clearly, I have been too dismissive in my search. This village will be torn asunder. Whatever you are hiding, I will have it! I have seen enough of your skills. You will die now, so I am not troubled later. Fought my student, but I cannot risk you against a foe like this yet. So blatant. We never thought to look in so humble a place. We expected an army. Your strategy, as always, is impeccable. Your search is over, assassin, but no one will hear of your success. It would seem that my past is catching up to me, and you are destined to be swept along. You have faced your first spirit opponents far sooner than I intended. Dawnstar can explain the nature of such creatures. I must go and make sure everything is in place. I thought I had more time, but perhaps you are ready. Do not be so quick to thank me. My influence caused this attack. You were not meant to see this yet, but now there is no choice. I will explain the school. You have done well, but more than this awaits you. See to your fellow villagers and students and return to me at the school. We have a great deal to discuss. Let's say first. We fought well against those bandits, but I had no idea Master Lee could command that kind of power. He destroyed that ship so easily. This is so confusing. Master Lee said I could explain the nature of spirits, but these were different. That sorcerer forced them to appear like wild dogs let loose. So many spirits seem lost, as if the way to their rest is blocked. I didn't think they were dangerous, but those on the beach... I sensed madness. Time drove them mad. You disrupted them by defeating them in combat. They will not reform for a long time. I hope there is peace in that, but I don't know. So much is worrying me. I 
I was worried enough when we were expecting bandits. Now it seems there are dangers we don't even know about. Master Lee called that, that sorcerer an assassin. Assassins don't attack at random. They have very specific prey. I don't, I don't want anything to happen to this home. I've never belonged anywhere else. Would it be strange of me to say I don't know? I have very little memory of my home before coming here, even though I was three years old when I arrived. I remember moving around a lot, never staying anywhere for long, and for some reason, the robes of that sorcerer looked familiar to me. I don't know why. I'm sure it's nothing, just the memories of childhood playing tricks. With glimpses of the spirit realm invading my thoughts, I could have seen them anywhere. I can't remember specific incidents, but I am used to being shunned. People are not very welcoming of those who appear to not let the dead lay peacefully. Master Lee said I was brought to him by a concerned ally who received me from yet another person. That person wanted me safe, but he said he couldn't ensure it himself. Master Lee doesn't know who that guardian was or what I needed protection from. He promised to look into it, but he's not had time. Your training has taken precedence. That was like... My abilities are just a curiosity. You are the center of attention here. I prefer it this way. I can just be. Yes, I suppose you know something about that as well. I hope this does not sound odd, but I am glad we share that. Thanks for this talk. The events on the beach worried me, but <laughs> you always improve my mood. Let's get back to what you need to do. Well, we've already visited Gu Jin, who used to be a guard in the West, they say. Old Ming always has a story, and he's usually by the statue on the beach. Merchant Ben Do is in the village square. He's been expecting new goods any day now, for weeks. Oh, for training or learning the philosophy behind martial combat, go see Smiling Mountain. He is behind the ring, near the student quarters. He's always amusing. I don't want to think about it too much. Manipulating Qi has not come as naturally to me as it has to you. The things I do are different. I can see spirit shapes and hear the odd whisper. Master Li was surprised, but he has not had time to look into it further. Your training is his primary interest. Hopefully I'll find my skills useful for more than just keeping me up at night. Could we go on to something else? Then we should return to Master Lee so he can talk to you about this attack. Wonakapirsari Awaf, Fansir Surufus, Isinosaurus Usuno. Tawi ear, Kawana ear, Sunir Ipoki. Nararo, na pirapirni, ni takatashi. Un nikasurir kwana no kuni uk nawata ir, nik nipi ir. Ikir nik tine piru, u iferek uk son puno. Un nikasurir kwana no kuni uk nawata ir, nik nipi ir. I feel that way sometimes. Wo Anania if we were Uk Sonoruk Noka Uk Schnapir. Un Nikasurir Kwana no Kuni Uk Nawata ear, Nik Nipi ear. Kunir Fuk no son could na no one and Napir, Isana Yuyo. Un Nikasurir Kwana no Kuni Uk Nawata ear, Nik Nipi ear. Osinsu Kokopir Fuku Wo Anania, if we were Uk Sonoruk Noka Uk Schnapir Ikir Nik Tine Piru, Wo Iperek Uk Son Puno 
I'm so glad you and Master Lee arrived when you did. My father ran to the school gate to find students to help. Did he make it? That is a great relief. We tried our best, but without you and Master Lee, we would have died. Thank you. Hopefully Master Lee can shed some light on what led to this. A sorcerer in our little village? What is wrong with the world? Many things. Nisho, many, many things. Alright. Step one. Save. Because that was painful. Step two. Leveled up. Excuse me. here. Oh, you! You're a friend of Dawnstar, right? I'm looking for her. Dawnstar, there you are. I know I haven't spoken to you in a while. I saw him again last night, and I remembered what you said. I wasn't as afraid. I'm glad, Mrs. Jean. He seemed... peaceful, if a bit... lost. But I know it's not your fault now. I'm sorry for disturbing you and for what I said before. Remember Zhang Jin, her son? He drowned last year after the mooring she tied let go. A sad accident. I saw his spirit and told her. She thought I was calling up ghosts. Some spirits return because of trauma, to rectify something that disturbed them in life or death. They are very focused. When the pain is gone, they find rest. At least they are supposed to. Jin's spirit told his mother the accident wasn't her fault. Now he wanders, unconnected to this world and unable to pass to the next. Troubled spirits can be set to rest for a time, but unless the greater problem is corrected, it seems all dead are destined to wander until they go mad. I'm sorry, this has been difficult. I don't want to think about how it affects specific people. I'm still not sure I should have told Mrs. Zhang about her child. I don't know. People just want to be left alone with their grief. I guess blame is easier to understand than chance. Come on, we should go see if the students are all right. Master Lee will be waiting. I think that's going to be it. It is a piece of two. And apparently I'm going to leave it on Grandmaster. For difficulty because I am sadistic to myself. But for now I'm going to call it right. And get some rest. <coughs> <coughs> 
Tschüss.